Alright guys, so at last, we have the NECA Ultimate Michael Myers from Halloween 2. Um, I'd much rather have the 78, but uh, I don't have anything of Dick Warlock, so this is great. I do want a 1-6 scale Dick Warlock. Um, I think that would be cool eventually, but, um, or I'm sorry, <laughs> a 1-4, like the one that NECA just put out of the 2018 Myers. Um, so yeah, you get a Ben Tramer head, that's awesome. Uh, this comes with scalpel, knife, syringe, hammer, uh, opening pumpkin, and then three interchangeable heads. So, uh, what I did notice is I cracked this open, and the scope looks a little bit different. I don't know what it is from um, the uh, prototype here, the prototype images. So, I know the prototype didn't have any articulation in the legs either. Um, it, you know what it probably is? It's probably just the paintwork. Uh, this thing, I was hoping to just be an open and go type situation, but I might have to paint this. But we're not going to be able to see too much from inside of the packaging, so let me go ahead and let me crack this thing open, and we will take a closer look. Alright guys, so I'm stoked to bring this to you, man. This is the NECA Ultimate Michael Myers from Halloween 2. Uh, Halloween 2 was a pretty good movie, man. It came out in 1981. Uh, John Carpenter's last Halloween movie up until, I believe, this past one in 2018. Um, it was told that he uh, sat down one night with a case of beer finished it and came up with this uh plot this story so anyways uh michael myers was played by dick warlock they used the same mask that they did that they used uh in 1978 which was uh a william shatner mask of course i'm sure you guys know the story if you're watching this video but dick warlock's head was slightly wider so i made the mask look uh, really different in a lot of ways so that's what we have right here man i'm excited that NECA is touching these uh halloween licenses i'm hoping we can get some more figures i'd love to see an h2o or a resurrection in six inch form um you know you can get the ones customs uh sculpts and build your own myers in one six scale but it's always nice to have something in six inch form for uh toy photography and stuff like that but anyways let's get into this this guy comes with an abundance of accessories first off he gets four interchangeable hands i'm sorry five interchangeable hands uh the two i have on him right now the right hand is for holding that little scalpel and then he's got a left open palm then he has a left grabbing hand and what i will say is that all these hands look nice and grimy dirty they did good weathering and black washing over them all the sculpt is amazing you get the uh, amazing vein detail they're just really good and NECA's good about doing that with their hand sculpts um and then you have a left knife holding hand if you will uh you can hold the knife the hammer whatever we'll get into that then you have a right syringe holding hand and uh i believe it's for the syringe because it fits uh perfect in there michael myers kills i believe a couple people right in the movie with the syringe then you get the chef kitchen knife that he's he took from the elrod house and uh yeah uh, Mrs. Elrod was making a uh, sandwich. Do you want mayonnaise on yours? <laughs> and uh, he kind of just walked in and, and gripped it up. So that's that right there. And then you get this beautiful hammer. I don't know what it is, but Michael Myers with a hammer. Uh, I'm attracted to it. I like it. I like the idea of it. I love that they did it in the 2018 film. And uh, he did use one in uh, Halloween too. So it's nice to see that. Then you get this little scalpel. Let me go ahead and grip that up for you. Not bad. It is I feel like it's a little out of scale. I feel like it should be um, much smaller. And um, I'm actually talking to a customizer right now about getting a real metal one. Um, fell right out for this uh, figure right here. But that's a story for another video. Then you get this amazing pumpkin. So guys, from the intro, the pumpkin opens up, revealing a skull. And NECA is so amazing that they went out of their way to make this. And I'm happy with it, man. I think it's really cool. They could have just uh, included a pumpkin with a light-up feature, but the fact that they just, that they did this, man, it, it, it's just, uh, it's just a blessing. It's it's so cool. So this is definitely dope. You can leave that open. I have it kind of like cracked, just open just a little bit. So 
Definitely awesome. That's the pumpkin you get. We'll just close it for right now. Then you get three interchangeable heads. So, come on, guys. Ben Schramer. You get a Ben Schramer mask. Amazing. This is the guy that uh, Dr. Loomis accidentally got killed because he thought he was Michael Myers. So he started chasing after him, and you know the rest. Now, here's the thing. NECA does not have the license for a 78 Myers. Everybody's saying but I kind of feel like this is a loophole. And I'm gonna tell you why I'm pretty sure it's a loophole. They didn't glue down the sideburns, at least not on mine. I'm gonna have to talk to other collectors to see if theirs is. Dude, this is a 78 mask right here. Widen out the, the eyes just a, a tad bit. You, I just have to trim that up just a bit. Take off this hair, dude. I can make myself a 78 Myers. And I think I will, man. That's probably what I'm going to do with this. It's cool to have a Ben Tramer mask, but I'm never going to pose him as Ben Tramer. I don't think I'll ever do any toy photography with Ben Tramer. And if I want to, I'll just pick up another figure. Uh, I plan on getting a couple of these anyways because I want to work with the masks and uh, the hair. I'll definitely be repainting these. Now, I feel like the sculpt on these is amazing. NECA did a great job. Uh, at first, I felt like something was missing a little bit, but I just feel like you got to do maybe a little black washing to this uh, sculpt, and it'll bring out the features and um, look really well. But overall, I mean, NECA did an amazing job. This is great, and I'm just so stoked to have Michael Myers figures. Um, yeah, this looks really good. So this is the regular uh, Dick Warlock mask, I guess you could say, <laughs> regular head sculpt right here. Okay, um, and there is eye detail. I don't know if you can see that in there, uh, but you have his eyes painted in. So not bad, not bad. And then my favorite one, you have the blood tears head sculpt. Now this is when Lori shoots him twice and it just so happens that she hits him in the eyes. So, <laughs> um, yeah, blood starts running down his face, and yeah, it looks amazing. Now, they did include a bunch of holes for bullet wounds on this figure, and I, you know what? I don't know that I'm the biggest fan of that. Okay, guys, small disclaimer. Um, Take back what I said. Cut that. Obviously, this is from the end of H1 when Dr. Loomis shoots him six times. I don't know why I was getting the movies uh, mixed up here. But obviously, he would have those bullet wounds all throughout Halloween 2 because it's from when Dr. Loomis tagged his ass up at the end of H1. To be a little, a little cleaner, uh, not so many bullet holes, but, you know, it is what it is. Also, another gripe with this is that uh, the coveralls really aren't movie accurate. Um the sculpt is, but they should be a little more greenish. Um, he did, in fact, wear green coveralls in the actual movie, so it would have been nice to get, um, you know, just a little more green. You know, this is a little more blue. This is a little more 78. And as you can see, man, I think he looks great with all these accessories. Here he is with the syringe. Like, he's he's going to grab somebody up and stick that thing in their face. Uh, it looks good, man. It really does. It looks great. And we can pop that guy out right now. Sadie's coming in here full force. You can hear her collar. Jesus Christ. Thanks, Sadie. I'm sure the people enjoy that, too. Uh, so, yeah, let's get his little hammer in hand here. And uh, what's going on? It's got to go on that side of the... All right, yeah, there we go. Move that thing back. Oh, actually, in the movie, he stabs the guy like this, I believe. All right, yeah, so there you go. There he is with his hammer. So, yeah, overall, guys... I this thing is dope, dude. It just it just is, man. It, it, it's awesome to have this. Again, it's not statue quality. It's not a one six scale figure. But you know, nobody else, like I said, is making these Halloween figures except except for custom artists out there. And uh, sure, you can build your own one six scale. But if you want to just have a quick little figure that you can pick up, you can paint, you can make it look better, you can do some action figure photography with it with the rest of your six inch uh, collection. This is amazing this is this is a must grab so next i'm gonna get into some comparisons with some companion pieces from NECA and we'll call it a day all right guys so for some comparisons here i'm sure everybody wants to know is he in scale with the mezco 78 myers and no unfortunately he definitely is not mezco is kind of in their own lane um 
you know, their their figures are much, much smaller than NECA. It would have been awesome if it was. But as great as these two would have went together, you know, it's just, it's not. NECA is too big. All right, guys. And next we have Laurie Strode from the 2018 movie. Hopefully we get a young Laurie from NECA. I'm sure we will. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure at uh, New York City Comic Con they're going to... We're going to unveil some pretty dope stuff for the Halloween franchise, at least at least I hope. So there he is. He uh, scales great with, with Laurie Strode, obviously. But uh, unfortunately, these are kind of from two different timelines. And uh, the Halloween 2 timeline is not even canon anymore. But there you have it. She does look good next to Michael. And then next, last, but certainly not least, we have the 2018 Michael Myers from the 2018 movie. And I believe he is just a tad bit taller uh, than Mikey here from Halloween 2. Yeah, he definitely is. He's a little bit taller. And there you go, man. That's everything that NECA has released so far for Halloween. And I got to say, man, it's a lot. We haven't had Halloween figures in years from a company. And to get these three, man, it's amazing. I love the Laurie Strode. I love the 2018 Myers. love the quarter scale. I'm hoping that we get a quarter scale of this guy at New York City. Uh, Comic Con this year unveiled and uh, hopefully they get that 78 license man It'd be awesome to see obviously they're releasing the um, Halloween 3 uh, Trick-or-treaters, which is gonna be awesome those three little kids, but yeah, I mean if we can get a young Laurie Strode um, If we can get an updated dr. Loomis if we can get a 1-4 scale Halloween 2 Michael Myers if we can get an ultimate 78 Myers that is like the ultimate goal hopefully Hopefully they can obtain that license so we can get it. So that's it, guys. That is my little review. I hope I did a good enough job for you. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up for me on your way out. If you're not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to work on some giveaways, but I do have a pretty big giveaway. At 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away a Hot Toys figure. So if you like Hot Toys or maybe you want a Hot Toys and you don't have one yet, make sure to subscribe because that is your chance at getting one for your own collection. My name is Dan, guys. You've been tuning into Collector's Digest. I will catch you guys in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.